restore the function of the skin. In adult skin, uh, there is scarring, unfortunately, and you know that the appendages like hair and eccrine and apocrine um, glands cannot be regenerated and there is still a visible scar. So the dream of dermatologists and uh, people from plastic surgery is to reduce scar formation. Um, mesenchymal stem cells can reduce scar formation, but they cannot fully regenerate glands. And before I would like to refer to it, just let me run you through through the sequential events, cellular events, which happen through the different wound phases. Given you have an injury, there's first bleeding, and the thrombocytes with fibrin have a first wound closure to get away the microorganisms. And uh, thereafter, they are in inflammatory phase with neutrophils coming in from the blood within 10 minutes and these neutrophils get activated to fight also the microbial encounter in the wounds. And after having done their debridement and antimicrobial activity, they release factors to bring in macrophages. The macrophages eat the neutrophils and this is a very strong hint for the macrophages to release TGF-beta and TGF-beta can uh, differentiate the surrounding cells, possibly also stem cells, but this is unclear, to form myofibroblasts. And the myofibroblast is equipped with a contractile uh, filament to system to retract the wound edges. In parallel, the epidermis is uh, migrating over the wound. And finally, um, endothelial cells sprout in from down the wound and form a new, new vessel to nourish the newly um, formed skin. So how does the mesenchymal stromal or mesenchymal stem cells, if you have a real completely defined cells, I still believe you can say mesenchymal stem cell, if you inject those ABCD5 cells into the wounds or other uh, mesenchymal stromal cells, what they do is they sense, is that a normal wound, just an injury without iron overload, and uh, then they adapt their response. They try to reduce the inflammation, they try to reduce the release of TNF-alpha. In normal wounds, they do it with uh, TSG6. This is an anti t TNF-alpha-6 gene, and this gene, interestingly enough, and this has been shown by Yuki, a um, uh, nice scientist from China in my laboratory, this uh, TSG-6 can really, uh, it can remodel this is a scar, and the scar is of better structure, and if you um, subject this to a tensile strength breaking test, it is much stronger. Also, the uh, mesenchymal stromal or stem cells can release TGF-beta by themselves, and this enhances the uh, contractile uh, facility. TSG6 actually has been first uh, identified by Darwin Prokop. This is a pioneer of mesenchymal stromal and stem cells. And uh, he has uh, shown, I just mentioned it because it's interesting also for dermatologists, if he injected intravenously mesenchymal stromal cells, then they are all caught by the lung and still he could regenerate the heart or the myocardial heart infarctions in mice and he identified TSD6. So what we did, we transferred it in acute wounds to the skin and the uh, scars are much reduced. And it was proven, if you use uh, an antisense TSG6 uh, molecule and put it to the mesenchymal stem cells and thereafter inject the mesenchymal stem cells around acute wounds, then their healing promoting activity is almost 70% um, delayed again. So TSG6 in acute wounds does uh, play a big role and in chronic iron overload wounds, it is not TSG6, it is interleukin-1 receptor antagonist. 